addition to Amazon, you may want to publish on other sites like iBooks, Kobo, Barnes & Noble, Playster, Scrid, Overdrive, Baker & Taylor, Hoopla, and more. In order to do that, you will definitely want to publish with draft to digital because you can publish through all those stores and libraries at the same time with draft to digital After you create an account, just click My Books, then Add New Book. Then upload your Word document that we already created with linked table of contents. draft to digital will convert it into a great EPUB and automatically publish to all the sites which you will choose later. I recommend all of them except Amazon since we have already published with them directly. Then put in all of your vital information such as the title, description, keywords, categories, etc. It is very easy to do. draft to digital will save you a lot of time and effort because you don't have to publish on all those sites individually. And in exchange for saving you all that time and effort, they only take 10%. That's a great deal. When you are done putting in the vital information, click Save and Continue. Next, select the book cover. Then take a look to make sure your chapter titles have shown up. If there are any missing, first check your Word document. If the Word document is correct, then you can send a support request to them and they will fix the problem. You can choose to include some introductory pages. I just include them in the original Word document. If you are going to include them, then remove them from the Word document, such as your title page. What I will definitely include are the promotional pages at the end of the book. They will insert a page that mentions your previously published books with actual links so that people can click and go to your book. Click Save and Continue. On the next page, you can preview the book. You can also choose from several different style templates. At the bottom right, you can see links to download the Mobi or EPUB or print PDF. So here's where you will download the EPUB if you want to do your own publishing on other websites. Let's preview the book. Click Save and Continue. On the next page you can choose which online stores and libraries, which should be all of them except Amazon. It will give you a higher suggested price for libraries in order to make a decent profit because they take a bigger chunk of the price. So it just makes sense. Then just choose that you are the author or that you have the rights to publish the book and you are done. If you want to make the book into an audio book, you get a discount by signing up through draft Digital. It's costly, but uh, if you can afford it, go ahead. On the next page are links where you can download the books again and links to the book's marketing pages. Once the book is published in all the stores, you can go to the book's page, which is designed for marketing. One way is through your account page. Click Universal Book Links. Each book has a page you can use for marketing your book. There is a, a book page with details about the book, and there is a page with links to all the different stores that will take you to your book's page in that store. If the page is not there, you can create it by putting a link to your book on Amazon and it will search for that book at all the stores and create the page with the links on it. This is a really great service found nowhere else. You can even create custom links. You can even create affiliate code links if you are an affiliate of those stores. Draft Additional also has many other useful features. For example, they offer editing and cover design through other people. They don't do it themselves. They also have a blog with helpful articles on publishing and marketing, even videos. You can spend a lot of time on this site reading and watching videos. If you want to sign up, use this link so they will know that I sent you. You also get sales reports from all the sites through draft Additional.